Well, welcome to Belmont, California. This is the new headquarters for the IECC VW's development lab where they are inventing cars of the future. Long before Google and Apple had their self-driving car projects here in California, VW have been here making sure that they're ahead of the curve with new vehicles of the future. VW pulled the silks off their concept vehicle for a handful of journalists to see the combination of a classic VW-styled bus married to the latest automotive technology. The Type 20 is based on a 1962 Type 2 VW bus with the classic 11 windows. But the Type 20 is very different. It's been converted to electric power. In the back, where the electric motor is housed, it comes with some unique toys. So one of the cool things is in the back of this vehicle, VW have actually installed electric skateboards, one on each side. And these electric skateboards can be used to complete the last part of your journey. So imagine that you get to somewhere and you park in a parking structure, you go rent one of those scooters using your phone. Well, the idea is you wouldn't have to do that because the electric skateboard is already part of the vehicle. A lot of the technology on the inside has been taken from different VW group members. The suspension was developed with Porsche and it can adjust the ride height. The engine in the back has been replaced by an electric motor, a 10 kilowatt hour battery, a 250 watt onboard charger and that electric motor produces 120 horsepower. So most of us are used to having Alexas in our home where we can talk to it and then get it to do things, tasks around the home, like turning lights on and off. So they've actually enabled this Type 20 to do similar things, although, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. My battery is 95%. Which incredibly is 5% more than me. VW has been experimenting with biometrics and facial recognition. The Type 2 can recognize the owner when he or she approaches the vehicle. There is actually cameras embedded around the vehicle. I got a tour of the new lab where the group are developing everything you can imagine for some of their members like Bugatti, Porsche, Audi and Lamborghini. These five different fuel caps were designed and redesigned over five days. Without the lab, that would have taken well over a month. Now VW have used a lot of technology in creating the different parts for this vehicle. Check the wheels out, they look like something possibly from a Halloween show, but in fact these have been manufactured to make sure they're strong, lightweight, easy to actually make, and they use partially AI to make parts of this vehicle, which actually makes them the best they can possibly be. The technology advanced sort of things that are starting to filter down into cars of today. The VW Group already has a history of successful self-driving cars on display at the lab was Stanley, the first vehicle to win the DARPA Grand Challenge in 2005 by navigating 132 miles of desert without intervention. And the VW Group have a long list of successes since then. Perhaps the next vehicle to make the Hall of Fame will be the Type 20. We won't actually see this vehicle on sale in the future, but we will see some of the technology that they've developed here in the Belmont Labs going into VWs of the future. I'm Nick Miles.